Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be doing a solo run of this week's featured Grandmaster, which is the Scarlet Keep. Now as you can see, all aspects and fragments are being shown in the video. I'm going to be using Arbalist as my primary, as my anti-barrier as well. I'm going to be using Na Nation of Beasts, which is going to be my unstoppable arc hand cannon. And I'm using Storm Chaser, which is my arc linear fusion rifle for damage. Solo operative... Uh, I'll be using high energy fire on the chest plate and I'll be using counter charge on the helmet with unstoppable hand cannon because obviously Arbalist has anti-barrier intrinsic so I don't need to put any fragments on, any, any mods on. Now, what you're going to find in this GM, I've done this GM maybe about an hour or two after I finished uh last week's insight terminus so the weapon at the end is going to seem different because i think it's hung jury this week but none of them none of the modifiers have changed this there are set modifiers for the gm so the, this gm is exactly the same as this last week's gm for uh scarlet keep is the same as this week's this is going to seem a ton more difficult than insight terminus and the reason for that is it is a ton it is quite a considerable amount more difficult. Insight Terminus was quite an easy GM because the burn that it that it requires, the burn that it gives you, which is void, there's very little void in Insight Terminus. The boss is the main source of void damage with his kind of uh, floor streams, those three streams of energy that he fires out. In here it's arc damage. And everything does arc. So you're going to feel that 50% additional damage quite significantly in this strike. Hence, we're going to do most of our damage from distance. Try to do it in the safest, uh, most uh, efficient way possible. So the, your main kind of thing in here, probably the most dangerous adds in here are, are going to be the wizards. If a wizard corners you with fire, man, it's practically over. Because they, they fire streams of arc damage, and, and they they'll they, they'll burn your bum. So you do not want to be standing there when a you know be very careful with the wizards. Champions goes without saying. Champions, uh, the knights, not just champions, but knights in general. That big arc boomer cannon that they've got, it's gonna burn. Plus the acolytes will be throwing solar bombs. So we don't want to. We really don't want to be, you know in close proximity to any of their damage. So, arc grenades are going to help because obviously with the jolt, that is going to be really important. You see there what jolt does. When you throw a grenade and you hit, the heavier the, the enemy, the better. So you hit a champion with an arc grenade, you will jolt the arc. The arc jolt is sharing arc damage, but if you jolt a big ad like, like a barrier champion, you attach the jolt to them. So every time you hit them, they will spew out a void uh, arc chaining stream, which will kill everything around. So really, really good. Now, as for cheeses, I thought I'd mention this because I do take exception to the cover at the boss being called a cheese. It's cover. It's there. It's part of that. That you know, it is the cover at the boss. The only cheese I can think of in this that you can do to still do now is the lift and we're not going to do the lift cheese where you emote into the wall we're going to show you guys how to do that legitimately and take next to no damage so this is kind of the first area where it there is there is a way to do it i suppose or a more efficient way so when you come in you're going to have two barrier champions and a bunch of ads that are going to spawn in i take and i always go for the left hand champion the champion i've just killed because he, we see him spawn in with these adds. It's right there. So I put a grenade down. Try and share the damage between the champion and the adds. Then, once they are dead, I come over and I take out the right hand champion. Which is this sprightly fellow here. Now, once you've took out the champions, your job then is to make your way up to the towers at the end of the pathways left and right. And eventually kill the wizard, get the orb, come down and slam. Now... When you start going up towards the towers, like we are now, you're going to get a bunch of thrall that are going to spawn, and then you're going to get an, uh, either on the right-hand side, you'll get this knight. On the left-hand side, you're going to get two 
sniper acolytes. So be aware of those. Once you've cleared them and you get close up to the un go underneath the little kind of archway and you're out into this section, same left and right, you'll get four acolytes and you'll get your wizard. Now this is why Arby's going to be, Arbalist is going to be really helpful because Arbalist intrinsically breaks shields. All shields with one hit. So we're going to be using Arbalist to its full potential. We take these wizards out. Now again, you see here, I'm, I'm not, I do not want to get into the wizard's uh, stream of, of damage. You see the other grenade. Got that. Got that uh, chaining effect. Got that jolt, which does a lot of damage to, as well to the enemy that it's jolting. Now, same left and right. When you pick the orb up, you're going to get another barrier champion. Same on both sides. You've got four acolytes again, and you'll get a barrier champion. What is different about these two waves is on the which it's the second wave. It's not. It doesn't matter which side you do first. This isn't about the sides. This is just the second wave. So even if you went and done left hand side first, second wave would be this way. The second side would be this side. So this is when you would get your wave of cursed thralls, those explorer thralls. Now. I'm pretty sure there's six of them. You see here, I killed two of the acolytes. I've jumped down. There's two here. I thought they ran away. They hadn't. They were hiding underneath. Be very aware of that. Now you can see that I'm showing you. You can drop. You can drop the orb, and shoot them. You, do, you know, as long as when whenever you drop the orb, you'll see the bar around the the the. The, orb, the, the, the icon telling you where the orb is filling up. That's the amount of time you've got to pick it back up before it disappears and you've got to go all the way back to the tower to pick it up. So this is for second side. So as I said, you get another wave of thrall. And you see there, we've got acolytes. Once we get past this section, see, I'll just put my, my uh, barricade down, which helps recharge my grenade but empowers it. So you can work out how many ads are still here because there's only four acolytes. So we'll just take out this wizard. There you go. So that's both wizards done. Now when we pick up this orb, we're going to get another barrier champion, but also we're going to get a wave of curse thrall that will spawn. Now the curse thrall will spawn up by where we slam the orb, but sometimes they run and hide. So... You know, that's why I'm saying I'm, I counted them during this run. And I'm sure there's six. Again, I want to take the high ground, so I'll just jump up on this little pillar here. Up top. You'll always have an acolyte that's backed away up to the main bit. There he is. So, the hand cannon's got... I nearly killed myself with that grenade. Be careful with that. So, I'll just kind of wait to get another grenade. I'll probably get a barricade again, so we'll get another barricade. There we go, we got the grenade. There's the champion, we'll just throw a grenade. I keep picking the orb up to refresh it. Grenade still hitting them and jolting them. The jolt, actually, as I've already said, the jolt does a fair amount of damage to, to, to whatever is jolted, so the champion. I'm just looking to see if there's anything below, and I'm looking to see if I can see any exploding thrall. There we go. So we'll count them together. One. Two. <laughs> we'll count them together, kids. I didn't mean it like that, sorry. Sounded preschoolish. Three. Four. And there's one left. Five. And I... There we go. Six. Now normally one goes up the back here. Behind us. That's why I'm looking over here. And for some reason the charge dissipated... Uh, so I'm just now just taking a second to look for any more exploders because I've had it before where I've thought I've killed them all and then while I'm dealing with the ads on the bridge it's just come up and exploded behind me you want to make sure that doesn't happen once you pick up this orb we're going to make our way back up slam the orb and that is this section finished 
once this is done, the drawbridge is going to open and then we will have to deal with everything that's coming over the bridge. So, the bridge section comes with its own kind of issues. Nothing major except, um, for me, the most difficult part of the bridge section uh, can be negated very easily with your super, which is the Shrieker. So, once you move up to this groove up here, you're going to get the wave of ads spawn in. Two, so, basically a bunch of thrall, two arc shielded knights. But you're going to have an unstoppable, which is a way over there in the background. Uh, you don't want to give those knights a chance to uh, to kind of get the melee attack off on you. Now, the, the good thing about the barricade, as I've already said, I, I, I prefer a barricade than the 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 ground kind of dodge that the Titans got. I, I'm not really a. F I do in, I do like it because it, it you get your uh, buff. That, that uh, Heart of Animal Slight gives you. You get that, get that really quickly. Uh, but I just like the... Maybe it's even just perceived damage uh, protection that, the, that the, the barricade gives you, but I like that. There's a really bad grenade, but I'm not talking about it. So you can see, you can just... See, we get that charge with, animal, uh, uh, charge with light every time we stop a champion. doesn't matter what champion it is. Again, just watch out for these guys here, the snipers that jump up top. We're going to use what we need to kind of flush some of these ads out. Now, I haven't really spoke about the damage that the hand cannon does. It's it's decent. I thought I'd really struggle with the hand cannon, but with it being arc with explosive payload as well, it's very good. So you can see there, the grenades taking out a bunch of ads. Now, I know that these acolytes nearly faultlessly so repeatedly they will congregate up here and I make up for the first bag grenade that is a very good grenade if I don't say so myself so we managed to chain it on most of the acolytes the rest of them are hightailing it out of there there won't be many up top for us to, to, to take care of so we're going to make it up here just put the barricade down to get where and power grenade and melee charge coming back and I'm just going to use the hand cannon just to deal with these ads. Once we jump off the bridge on the other side, then we're going to spawn in a whole new bunch of acolytes, but we're also going to get two wizards. Now we can deal with the wizards. You'll see if you've been, if you're a long-time viewer of the channel, you'll have seen me do this before. I jump up, I toss a grenade back down, put my barricade, and then I'm just going to go straight back up because while I'm up here, the wizard stands zero to no chance of hitting me. They stand as much chance of hitting me as I do of hitting them with the obelisk. <laughs> so there's one down. We want to take care of the other one. F. Now, ads are really bad at doing this these days. They hide the minute you break a shield until they get their shield back. So I'm just going to throw this grenade up here and see if I can deal with, with some of the ads. And there we go. There is the second wizard. So now we can actually move up using these kind of side bits as cover. I'm just going to throw a grenade because they congregate at the sides, as you'll see here. The hand cannon putting in work. I've got, I think the other perk I've got in this is Ambitious, ambitious Assassin, which is also really good. Once we've cleared the majority of the ads left and right, We'll push up. We're just going to make sure that there is some ads around the side there. But, you know, pretty glitchy. Come in and then went out straight away. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and use our grenade. Let's clear some of these ads. It was unfortunate that it seemed like the minute I threw my grenade, the ads all ran away to the other side. But you can see there, what happened there is... I, cho I jolted the champion, but because of where the champion is, it's not its not a great place. Now what we can do is try and put some on him. Break his shield. And then... Never got great damage on him, because... The reason I never got great damage on him... Uh, it is because... The thing about the Storm Chaser... It's great, it's a three burst, it's great, but at range, it's really difficult to hit consistent crits. So, that's the champion down. The main problem, and this is what, I, as I say, I'd done this a couple hours after I'd done 
insect terminus, but the biggest problem I had is coming up on both sections. I couldn't work out how to do the shrieker. This first shrieker uh, wasn't too hard to start with, like just doing it the way I was doing it before. And then I switched because I realized I wasn't using my super for anything else. So what we're going to try and do is get rid of as many of these acolytes as possible. And once we get rid of as many as we think we're safe to attack, then we're going to use our super on the Shrieker. So what I'm going to do is get high, aim up, smash. And as soon as I land, I'm getting out of there. And you see there, I did get hit because it's almost impossible to know whether you've killed all the the, the acolytes. Kill that one. And then these two sniper ones that appeared at the top of the stairs. And now he's glitched and teleported to the... <laughs> over at the other side. There he is. Now you're going to have this wizard. I really struggled to get this wizard, I think, here. And she ended up flying away. And even when I went up top, she was... She'd got into a real bad piece of cover. It was kind of difficult for me to hit. So you'll have two more snipers up top. There's one. We want this next one to peek. There we go, there's two. Now I'm trying to find the wizard, and the wizard had really hid itself into that corner. And as I said before, wizards, it felt as if that wizard hit me, like, for a millisecond. And if one more piece of damage, I'd have been dead. Be very careful when it comes to those wizards. I don't care what they say, and I'll, you'll hear me say this a few times. I don't care what they say about resilience. You cannot walk through GMs. You could last week because the burn wasn't available. You weren't affected by the, the GM burn. You are this week. So, here we go. This is us just leading up to one of the second, what I would consider the second strategical part of the GM. And the second, because the, the first strategical part was where you had to get uh, we had to get the orbs. It's kind of the same here to a degree. Now we can take the champion from here. Now the, the one thing I would say up until the boss is this strike is drowning in champions. Barrier champions. You do get a couple of unstops at the boss but the majority of ads in here are barrier champions. Barrier knights. There's a couple of unstops but really not enough to actually... It's, it's kind of... You know, with the changes they've announced, I'm really glad of some of the changes because it's really annoying having to work out what weapons you need to use whilst also contending with the burn and your champions and, and, and even just the strategy that you need for the actual for the actual strike. Now, you'll see there, I thought about just standing and going after that wizard. Don't do it. See there, I'm jumping backwards. Do not allow this champion this bar, uh, wizard to get a sight on you because she'll kill you but it's really difficult to kill her when other ads are pushing left and right which is why I backed away because you've got you know roughly four acolytes left and right pushing towards you they'll be throwing their solar grenades and they'll be shooting you so it's worthwhile break the shield put a grenade or whatever down I didn't, if you've got your super, you can super, it's it's no problem. Uh, but don't stand there getting involved in gunfights. Man, I, I can't stress this enough. This GM is not a GM where you can stand and get involved in gunfights. With the weapons available to us, nah. <laughs> and and this unkillable hundred resilience thing, I'm going to be, I'm going to bleed this, this one dry, because I, I don't agree with it. Uh, this unkillable hundred resilience thing. Uh, nah. It ain't it. So what we're going to do is I've thrown a grenade, try and jolt all these snipers, and I just, because I had the jolt just right, I didn't bother using my heavy on the champion. I just arbalist, and we were good. So now, this is where you get a whole bunch of thrall coming. So just be careful. Don't let them get the thrall used to be, and I'm not, they might still be. I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. That's why I'm saying they used to be. 
They are they are melee used to be elk. So that is why I was, you know, wary of them allowing them to get too close in case they're melee really aren't the backside of me. Now, for anybody that's getting salt at my constant resilience comments, listen, it's tongue in cheek, okay? I'm, I'm not serious. I'm not. I am, but I'm not. I'm not, you know, it's, I'm, I'm just having a laugh with it. This isn't for this video. This will be for a, a, a video coming very soon where we talk about the problems in Destiny. So, now that we've done the first plate, and as you've seen the way we've done the first plate, is we've got the wizard straight away. And then once we'd almost captured the plate, then we got a, we got a champion. It doesn't work like that on the left and right plates. What happens left and right is you get on the plate and then you get two acolytes left and right. And then you get the the, the, the knight almost maybe 10% into capturing the plate. So I take I use the stairs and I'll do the same on the left. I use the stairs as almost head cover so that I can take the champion quickly. Works the same both sides. Just be prepared for where the acolytes spawn. Two will spawn to your left, two will spawn to your right on both of these plates. So I throw a grenade one side, right? So this is when you get to the plate, you have to kill your champion first. You guys know that. So what we'll do is we'll kill the rest of these acolytes. Make sure you've killed all the ads that are associated with the plate spawn before you get on the plate. So now I just put that down. There's a couple of uh, these uh, fonts. Pick them up, the elemental font. So I threw a grenade to the left at that door and I've shot the, the, the acolytes to the right. Now I'm head glitching the champion. And now we'll kill him. So this time, because he dodged and he's in bad, you know, bad position, I just want to kill him. I don't want to give him a chance to stand up and then dodge away. And that's how you capture these plates safely. Now we've got a bit of a lead up, then our next real kind of strategy uh, is coming just just before the lift and on the way up to the lift. Before you leave this area, make sure you've picked up any heavy. I noticed I had a brick over here. Pick up any heavy, any special you need, and then we'll head forward to the next section. So once you've picked up all your heavy, you want to make sure you've picked up everything and you're as full as you can be. Then we're going to head up to the bridge section that leads up to the lift. On the way up here, you're going to have a few barrier champions, some acolytes, and another shrieker. We're going to use for super to take out the shrieker. And we'll just try and do everything else from range. Now, voids, the, 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 the barriers are bad enough. I think there's three on the way up here. Four. Four? Four before you get on the lift. Barriers are bad enough, but the, the acolytes, the sniper acolytes, will surprise you with how much damage they do because they'll void. But they hit hard. So as you can see, I know what I'm facing. So there's two acolytes here. Once I turn the corner, the barrier will probably teleport over to where that sniper is. But there'll always be a sniper coming over the bridge. Make sure you deal with him, and then you don't have to worry about him again. So once you kill the, the you, as you can see there, I take a fair bit of damage there. Got to be careful if that barrier's up. You have to be careful because the barrier has got clear line of sight, which is why at the first section where we've got to kill the two wizards to get orbs. That's why I like to get the high ground on the champions. If they've got the high ground on us, we could be in trouble. Now you see here he pushes, so I put a grenade down straight away. Now he's got something to think about. Put my barrier up, and now I'm going to break his shield. Like that. <laughs> That's the first shot. And then I'm just going to use my Storm Chaser. And there you go. So that's the first barrier taken out. Now when we jump over, we don't have the sniper to deal with. We already took him. Once you get past this, this first kind of overpass, I'm going to throw my grenade all the way to the doorway and try and take out the acolytes that are coming out. Unfortunately, my grenade started moving towards the Shriekers. Uh, the... the the thrall, because the thrall were there before the, the the acolytes were. So as you can see, the acolytes took a little bit of damage. Just want to get one more hit on him, but not enough to kill both of them. So now I've got a grenade. 
We're going to have an acolyte up top. So we want to take this acolyte. And then we're going to have a barrier. Now I've thrown my grenade at the barrier. It stopped him moving to the left. And then he came straight back to it. And now I can jolt him. Spread electricity to any ads that are still up there. But more importantly, I can kill the barrier. Now you see we've still got two acolytes there. Watch out because he was just... He was just getting ready to throw throw a, a solar bomb at me. My my shots uh, my shots kind of uh, stopped him in his tracks. So now what I'm going to try and do, you see how I got hit there with one void sniper? One void sniper and it took two thirds of my health. So now I'm just going to throw just just a an exploratory uh, an exploratory Grenade. I'm going to see what other ads. We've got a couple of acolytes down low. You can see I'm strafing because I'm focused on the acolytes I'm shooting. Now we're going to see if I can get something on this champion. If I can't, then I can't. He dodged straight away. So I waited to see if he would come back out. It's the shrieker I'm most interested about, but just like we've done before, shooting to see if he'll come back out. He doesn't. I remember this. What we're going to do, I'm just trying to get an angle on him because I know that I'm going to be in a position once I take out the Shrieker. Now you'll see here, it's actually a great grenade. It hits him. And that was the idea to shield him. And once he was shielded, you know, I should have went before that, but I wasn't sure my grenade would hit him. So what I've done... Bang. And now I'm just getting out of there. <clears throat> One thunder crash will kill the Shrieker. Destroy the sh Shrieker. So I'm going to throw another grenade. Which is going to put him shielded. And then just finish him off. That's the last in this section. Before we get to the bridge. Before we get to the section with the bridge. But up top here, we're going to get another barrier and a bunch of acolytes. So we're going to use our grenade to kind of shock and awe. So we're just trying to get... There we go. And we'll just put the barrier down. Where's this? Champion. Easy money. And he's jolting ads around him. So now we know we've still got some, some acolytes up top. They are nothing to worry about. Three tap. If we've done damage to them already, it will just be a single. So, how are we going to do this bridge section? Right. This uh, lift section. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure there's no ads here. And then I'm going to look up. And I'm looking to see which of these alcoves is closed. So, as you can see, that other side had two alcoves closed. Which means no ads will spawn there. So, what I'm looking for, as we're going up, you see there's another one. There's one. And there's one. But this one's got a section open at the top. So I can move around here. You see there. That's all I've I had to deal with. Right? It should have been really this one I went to. I went to the wrong one once I found out that. Because the the way the alcove thing, well, I'll speak to, I speak to, we'll, we'll, I'll show you because this next section is where I worked out what I done wrong. As you can see, I don't really have to deal with too much incoming fire. In this next section, this first floor, you're going to have two wizards, a bunch of acolytes. See there, one acolyte just had no interest in the fact that I threw a grenade on him. So now we want to take care of one of these, just to see if we can kill the. The, the ads that are around the champion. There we go. Just, and then we break his shield, kill him. You'll have the exact same thing on the other side. Just make sure I kill him. You'll have a barrier, but you've also got a wizard in the middle. You can look through this centre bit to see what's there. Still one one add up. We'll get we'll, we'll barricade down to recharge our grenade. We want to put a grenade up here and then break that wizard's shield if we can. But the wizard 
was it got off before we could do anything. Which is fine, because now we've got rid of the champion. Now what we have to do is get rid of this wizard. So as you can see, I want my grenade back. Try and keep my super, because I'm, I'm kind of in my head, I'm thinking the super can do good damage against on the next floor against the unstoppable. So you just be careful. See how I feel like... And I felt like this when I was doing it. I felt like I took very little, like, sustained fire from the wizards. See how much damage they take when you jolt them? Because they're taking damage from the jolt as well. Again, we're just going to hoover up some special. There is special over the other side. I missed it the first time I seen it. Uh, so we'll just go over here and pick up this brick of special. There it is. Now... This is the way that the, this is the way that the lift works. You're going to look up. You see how they're open? Open. So we'll go around the other side. We're looking for the ones that have the most close together. That's one, two. That's that's open at the top. Three. So we're going over this left-hand side one. We know that one section to the left of the closed ones is open at the top and the what the, the the alcoves next to the closed section on the right of, 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 of where we're facing now is closed is open at the bottom so what I'm going to do is stay at this side because the ads here will, will appear first when I'll just put a bit of fire on that one ad just to stop it from firing too much and now we stay at this side because the other side was open at the top. So you've got two sections that are completely closed. And then the section left and right of that, a section was open at the bottom, section open at the top. If you wait for the lift to go past the section that's open at the bottom section, then that's your clear cover. I hope that made some sense. Look for the side that has, see there, that's what I was saving my super for. I'll just get out of there now. And there's the unstoppable. I threw a grenade, stopped the enemy, threw a grenade, and then used my super, and that killed the unstoppable. In this section, you've got a wizard left and right, so you've got, but you've got a whole bunch of acolytes. When you look one way, you've got to be careful you're not getting shot from the other side. So I'm, I'm not sustaining fire. See, I've seen that incoming, and I've jumped away. I'm not putting any sustained fire on any side till I'm sure that I'm clear on the other. Just put my grenade up there. And that should get some damage. This dude at the back is just like coal beam grenades over at me. And there we go. That's the acolytes this side. So now we'll, we'll head over to the opposite side because we know we've killed the, the acolytes behind us. And now, break the shield, throw the grenade, put the barricade down to get it back. I don't want to expose myself to this wizard. That didn't sound right. You know what I mean. <laughs> I don't want to get myself in a position. <laughs> sorry, that made me laugh. Uh, Peekaboo! No, sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to put myself in a position where I don't want to expose myself. Jesus. How old am I laughing at that? I don't want to put myself in a position where the wizard has free line of sight on that was the way I should have said it to start with. Uh, and that, that, that should be this section done. All we've got to do now, again, is look up, find the two columns of alcoves, little caverns that are closed. No ads will come from them. And then work out the sides that are left and right of them, which section is open first. Is it the bottom section, on the left or whatever? So there's a closed section there. That section is nearly all open, so we know we're round. So there's a closed section, there's a closed section, there's a closed section. So what we'll do is shoot the crystal and then we'll go and hide at the pillar that's next to the closed section. Just being mindful of, because you're talking about, and this is what I was trying to explain last time, you're talking about a couple of caverns being closed like those but one of the sections next to them like there that cavern is open at the bottom 
So as soon as we get, we could go around the other side and wait for the left to go past the first section. So when the left goes past here, then come to this side. And we wouldn't have seen any ads. That is us at the boss. Got these two wizards to contend with and then it's boss DPS. So the strategy at the boss, I, I hate the fact that some people call this a cheese. It's that bad the cover is now cheese. The, the strategy is right behind where we are now, there is uh, a, a, an intrinsic bit of cover. It's the only real bit of cover in this whole area. We are going to use that to our advantage. We've got to take these wizards first. See how much damage I took down. It took nearly all my health. And that's me with 100 resilience on and an arc mod. i just throw a grenade over there. The grenades act... They're very good for damage, but they act like... Uh, area defense as well. I don't want to use too much of my... Because I don't have a lot of... Uh, Arbalist really left to to be putting sustained fire constantly on these wizards. I'm hoping one of them drops a bit of special. So we'll just take that ad out, take that shield out, and there we go. Bro used, we, we use them with heavy to save Arbalist. Now I'm just, I can see the other wizard firing at me. I'm just looking, nope, no special there. There's the other wizard. Break the shield, throw a grenade. Go over the other side. And then the wizard ran all the way at the back. Back, We can see a bit of special there. So now that's freed me up a little bit. So just back there she is. Then. And now we'll just use our hand cannon to finish the wizard off. Now I'm going to... I suppose you could say this was risky. I didn't really think it was too risky. I ran up. Just using my shoulder charge. Don't just run. Make yourself a hard target to hit. I wanted that special. Now this is what cover. Some people call this a cheese. I can't understand how this is a cheese. This is cover that's built into the map. Anyway. So as you can see there. What we're doing is. We're going to be using more grenades. And more storm chaser. Now. Waves of ads come out. At 50% of our shield. And then. Full shield. She's got three damage sections on her shield. See how, how my... That's why I'm using a barrier rather than the dodge. See how the when, they're, when they're, the thrall are coming over, they're, they're pushing right up to me. When they push right up to me, my, uh, my barricade's blinding them. So they can't come over and just start clawing at me. Now, we are going to have a moment where... Uh, just throw my grenade over there. We are going to have a moment where when the Exploder Thralls come, uh, one of them explodes right in front of us. Now it doesn't, you know, obviously we never died. You've got to be very careful with that. So we'll put another barricade down. Just keep throwing the barricades down. And now there's a but the, the Acolytes, the first wave that come out is some Thrall, some Boominites and some Acolytes. That's half of our health, and she will still be floating around the map trying to shoot you. Now that she has went immune because of the grenade, now we're going to get our second wave of ads, which is more acolytes, but now we've got wizards. You see there, the wizard? We're just backing away. Very careful, we want to break the shield. And I'm just going to use my arbalist. One of them pushes down. There we go. And one of them stays up the back. Now we know we've still got some acolytes out there. I can see I've dropped a bit of heavy, dropped a bit of special. So we want our our uh, grenade to be chaining that damage on the acolytes. There's the wizard, and there's another knight. Be really careful where we are. Luckily, if they do come over here. 99% of the time, if they come over, they're going right off the edge. Just make sure when you see them pushing, move back into cover. Because they can, which is why I don't think this is really a cheese. I know it's not. There's, a, there's a, an acolyte, there's another knight. The reason why I don't think this is a cheese 
is because you can die here. This isn't all I can't die here. Of course you can. And it's not like a cheese is it's really difficult to describe what a cheese is. I just get I, I kinda took it almost offensively. You know, because I know some content creators use terms like that to make their runs look better than everyone else's. It's not a cheese. So, what we've got left up, I think we've still got a knight up. We might still have acolytes up, but it's this wizard. I want this wizard gone, so I'm going to throw my grenade. The problem you've got here with the second wizard, when she's hiding up the back there, is uh, your grenade will track the boss. So, if we can get, see there, the shield is no protection for her. Just see if we can finish her with the hand can. There we go. Now, the boss hasn't unshielded. Which tells me there's still adds up. And while the boss is shielded, she won't do any damage to you. So now, we can go and have a look and see what ammo's lying about. Now, because we... Because... <laughs> it's quite funny, actually. I'm just going to go up here and see if there's some special... See up where I'm right underneath the boss. No slam... No damage. When the boss is in cocoon phase, you're fine. That knight never pushed us because of how much damage we'd already done to it. So it was really wary of coming back after us. So once you kill the knight, the, wizard, the, the boss, Hash Ladun, becomes now an issue again. So grenade, and we'll start putting it on the boss. Now you see there, she's got three health bars. She's got three sections of her main health bar. When you get that down to half, you get a half wave. When you get it down to full, when you complete that uh, health bar, that section of a health bar, the first health bar, the add you gets two yellow bar wizards. When you do the second one, the health that the add you get is unstoppable ogres, two of them. The cool thing about where you are now is obviously you're in cover from the boss to a degree you still have to be wary but most of the ads that you need to kill one of them at least will push you quite quite uh, quickly after it spawns they'll come straight for you so you don't have to come out if you're going looking for ads you have to be careful that the ads don't sneak up on you especially those exploders now you see we've got our wave of ads but it's only a half wave so we'll throw a grenade out there. As I say, just keep yourself safe. You can get multiple people in here. This, this is not just something you can only do solo. There's plenty of room there to the left. There's another Arc Knight. Just keep putting it. And we'll throw a grenade out on top of him. There we go. The thing I like about the numbers, if you notice the damage numbers you get, is... They actually tell you whether they've broke a shield or not because the numbers will be in the damage type of what you broke. See there, we've got a whole bunch of ads and then just just when I thought it was just just those accolades, Hash Ladoon pokes off face. It was like, hi. This is where you've got to be careful. This will happen if you don't put the damage on her. She'll push right up on top of you. She can't push right up on top you see if i if i crouch down here i'm fine the minute she stops shooting though i'm gonna throw a grenade and then get my barricade up which empowers my grenade as well now she's went immune which is kind of what we wanted so we'll just we'll just get a peek out just i know that i know there's more ads here but i also know i'm gonna get unstoppable which you'll see there I'll just throw a grenade out there but what you are also going to get here is you're going to get exploders. There's one. Now you see, I don't know if you just seen poking out there, an exploder. There's a couple of cursed thrall. There's another one. I'm looking for the other unstoppable. There he is. Now this is where it gets scary. And you'll see it here. I had to back away. It's fine. The ogre will come over to us. Just need to be aware. I stop him. 
and then on stop explorers come and stand right in front of me and see as long as I stay crouched and into the left that is that unstoppable cannot touch me I don't know if there's any more explorers there is I've seen one there so now I'm just putting my grenade and hope, hoping that it changed to the acolytes there's another explorer there's a that was actually three that were hiding there. So it looks like there's more than six. I'm just going to grab some ammo. It's heavy up there, but I don't know what ads are left. Do I need that? Oh, there's heavy there. I'm going to grab forces up, so I'm not going to grab any heavy. Now what's going to happen is you're going to get, again, a half wave when you get her to halfway. Here what we're looking to do is not, not play with any of that. We want to kill her if we can. Now, sometimes it's not the best because she'll run away. So what I'm going to do is throw a grenade up there. It's going to chain. And hopefully it'll do a little bit of damage to Hash Ladoom. Just clear any ads. You can do this safely from here, but I'm, I'm literally just doing this to try and get grenades now. When you see your grenade chasing something, you know there's something there. There's the boss. I don't. I could come out and fight her, but that's not the point. The point is showing you how to do it repeatedly. So as you can see, I just jumped up, threw a grenade over, it'll chase her, it'll keep damaging her. Hopefully she'll run like that and she'll come back over here I couldn't get any kind of angle on her until she moved and then that was her problem because dead this is your best point over here just don't overextend don't be greedy with your damage and remember if you're getting pushed crouch and move all the way back into your cover and there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you guys get your GM done this week. As I say, the weapon I think this week is hung jewelry, so good luck with that. I will put a master out. So take it easy. Have some good runs. Good luck with your clears, and I will speak to you guys in the next video.